Okay. So next, uh, we need to understand law of mass action. Remember that expression, delta G ka expression, where we have delta G is equals to delta G naught plus uh, um, 2.303 RT uh, log Q. Remember that? Yes. So what did we do there? At equilibrium, delta G becomes zero and Q becomes KC. Remember that, no? Q becomes KC. What is that KC? What is that KC? Equilibrium constant. So what is equilibrium constant? Here we'll understand. Equilibrium constant, K, okay? So let's see this. Achha, okay. So I have a reaction. I'm assuming a reaction here, a hypothetical reaction. Suppose A, A, B, B, balanced hypothetical reaction, C, C, and D, D. This is the balanced hypothetical reaction. I am assuming you can have any reaction like this. So what this law of mass action suggest? It says that the, achha, one second, I'll go back. Okay. Yeah, balanced uh, chemical reaction we have. So according to law of mass action, what we say that the rate of forward reaction rate of forward reaction that is rf is directly proportional to the concentration of reactant concentration of the product of reactant to the power the respective stoichiometric coefficient if you have the book, you no know, NCRT or any book, if you have, you can go through the, uh, you know, statement of law of mass action. Thing is this only that I'm explaining. Here. What I said, according to law of mass action, rate of forward reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of the reactant species, product of the concentration of the reactant species to the power respective stoichiometric coefficient. So A ka stoichiometric coefficient is A, so A to the power A, B to the power B. If I remove this proportionality sign here, then the expression would be RF is equals to KF concentration of A to the power A concentration of B to the power B. Now, what is this KF here? What is this KF? Anyone, any idea? No idea, Achha, take it. Obviously you won't have any idea. Yes, that is what I wanted to hear, equilibrium constant, but it is not the equilibrium constant. It is, it is the rate constant for forward reaction. rate constant for forward reaction. So this F stands for forward, for forward reaction, fine. Rate constant, not equilibrium constant. What is equilibrium constant? We'll see, wait. Similarly, according to law of mass action, we can also write 
the rate of backward reaction of backward reaction that is uh, rf is equals to exactly same sorry rb i'm sorry rb is equals to kb concentration of uh, c to the power c concentration of d to the power d we don't have proof for that anurag it is according to this law law of mass action same thing no we discussed more concentration more will be the rate right more concentration more will be the rate like i said this thing earlier also it's not like it is always directly proportional i said no that rate may be proportional to the concentration to the power of something we can have any number over there so from that you can relate this is yes yes whenever i write down this square bracket square bracket c means concentration of c square bracket represents concentration correct concentration of c concentration of d okay bolo anurag Correct. Yes. ठीक है. So this is R F and R B का relation. Tell me the condition of equilibrium. Condition of equilibrium. Guy three. What is the condition of equilibrium? rf is equals to rb yeah that's right rf equals to rb so at equilibrium we can say this rf equals to rb let's see what happens so i'll write down the expression for rf and rb and hence the expression would be kf concentration of a to the power a b to the power b kb concentration of c to the power c concentration of d to the power d so what is kf by kb what is kf by kb it is concentration of c to the power c concentration of d to the power d concentration of a to the power a concentration of b to the power b this kb i did not write here it's same thing you can also write it down this kb here is the rate constant not equilibrium constant it is the rate constant for backward reaction backward reaction okay copy this down and then we have this so this ratio of kf and kb this is the equilibrium constant kc so what is equilibrium constant equilibrium constant is the ratio of the rate constant of forward and backward reaction cool yes what you have to keep in mind that this kc depends only on temperature depends only on temperature but this kf kb rate constant i'll write down uh, in in this slide rate constant here 
it depends temperature and catalyst like i said rate constant is not the you know concern for us in this chapter our concern is equilibrium constant rate constant rate everything we have in chemical kinetics grade 12 correct so don't bother about it rate constant but you must understand that the ratio of rate constant of forward and backward reaction is the equilibrium constant kc c stands for concentration if you take concentration here it is c if you take pressure here it is kp clear am i clear concentration agar likhoge to kc aayega if you write on the partial pressure of cd a and b it becomes kp cool understood okay and equilibrium constant whether it is kc or kp it depends only upon temperature nothing else okay so for any reaction the reaction was this kc what we get here concentration of c to the power c concentration of d to the power d concentration of a to the power a concentration of b to the power b what is c d a and b c d a and b are the c d a and b are the product and react so if you remember if you go back and memorize and recall that particular equation delta g in terms of that k will write down the concentration of product by reactant isn't it yes yeah copy this down acha we'll see it here then aditya no problem we'll have it here also i'll do it here only you see just one equation we have the equation is this uh the enthalpy change we can relate like this delta g is equals to delta g not plus 2.303 rt log q okay this q becomes kc at equilibrium and delta g becomes zero acha wait one more time like we'll we'll do it we'll do it after some time okay we'll discuss q also and then we'll do it let it be okay this one equation we have we'll do it a bit later did you understand this no doubt okay now suppose the reaction is given acha we haven't done that no problem we will have this in this chapter also we have we'll do that okay i will do today only just give me some time acha see if the reaction is given in gaseous uh, you know uh, state if the reactant and products are present in gaseous state for gaseous state reaction or for gaseous reaction for gaseous reaction we can write the expression of kp
expression of Kp. What is Kp? I'll tell you. Suppose the same reaction that we that I have written there, we have this is gas, A gas plus B, B gas gives C, C gas and D, D gas. If you have any solid or liquid, you can ignore that. Okay. So could you tell me, because the reaction is taking place in a container, so volume is same, volume is fixed. So for A, what we can write, partial pressure of A into V is equals to NART, isn't it? PV is equals to NRT. We can apply for gases. Okay. Right. If I write down partial pressure of A, it is Na by V into RT. What is Na by V? It is mole per liter, this concentration. So PA is equals to, we have the concentration of A into RT. It's fine. So what is the concentration of A? We'll have PA by RT. What is PA? PA is the partial pressure of, is it fine? Any doubt in this? Tell me, any doubt? Yes, no doubt. So what would be the expression of concentration of B? Is it PB by RT? Concentration of C, Achha, not this. Uh, concentration of C, it is PC by RT. And concentration of D, it is PD by RT. Yes. Correct. Now, what we do, we, we represent all these concentration terms in terms of pressure in the expression of Kc. You see what happens here. So when we substitute all these concentration terms in Kc, so we have Kc equals to, Kc equals to, we have Pc to the power C, Pd to the power D by Pa, to the power A and PB to the power B into RT to the power RT to the power A plus B minus C plus D. Any doubt? One more thing you see here. Uh, in this one, you see, if I find out delta N for this reaction, that is the delta NG only. So it is the number of gaseous product minus the number of gaseous reactant. Same like we had in the last chapter, delta Ng. To delta N equals to what? We have C plus D minus A plus B. No doubt. Yes. 
Done? Okay. So we'll, we'll substitute this delta n over here. Achha. Before that substitution, you see this expression. See this expression. If we have concentration here, c to the power c, d to the power d, a to the power a, b to the power b, then this term was what? This term was kc, right? We have pressure in term instead of concentration here. Like the previous con previous you know expression was kc. So when you write down pressure over here, this term becomes what? This term becomes kp because the pressure is there. Yes, KP. So what we can write, you see, KC is equals to KP. The difference between these two terms is what? The difference is when you write KC, we'll write the concentration of product by concentration of reactant. When you write KP, KP we can write only for gaseous species, pressure of product by pressure of reactant. That is the only difference. RT to the power, what? Minus of delta N. Is it fine? Look at this expression first. Is this fine? Is this fine? Did you understand this expression? No doubt. Right. So further, what we can write? We can write Kp is equals to Kcrt to the power delta n. This is the expression or relation of Kp and Kc. Equilibrium constant for concentration, equilibrium constant for Pressure, we can write this. Very important relation, must keep this in mind. Done, copy. Solid and liquid, we don't consider, just ignore that. You don't have to write down the concentration or pressure for solid and liquid, just ignore it. We'll take the concentration as unity. Did you copy till here? Okay. Now you see in this, they asked many times this question, the relation of KP and KC. Okay. The relation of KP and KC. So we have three possibilities in this, uh, three small, you know, cases we need to understand, we need to take, and then we'll have some questions on this numericals. Okay. So case one, case one, we have, it's possible that delta N equals to zero for some reaction. Like for example, we have H2 plus H2 gas plus Cl2 gas gives 2 HCl. Suppose I'm having this equation. 
right so this delta n is zero so for this case kp is equals to kc will have case 2 when delta n is greater than 0 so it is we have cacio3 solid converts into cao solid plus co2 gas so obviously delta n is greater than 0 while the value is 1 so this kp is also greater than Kc for this condition. Case 3, when delta n is less than 0, for example, n2 gas plus 3H2 gas gives 2NH3 gas See delta N D is zero, so K P is less than K C. Copy this down. Yes, number of moles of gases, correct. For all the three. Here in this case, delta n value would be one, one minus zero. Done. Okay. Now you see one last thing here, the unit of KP and KC. The unit of KP and KC. R is 0 0.08, yes. It's pressure in atmospheric, no? So R is 0 0.08, you can take. See the relation of Kp is equals to Kc RT to the power delta N. Oh, this is not required. Okay. So Kp is what? You see the expression we had written was pressure of C to the power C pressure of D to the power D, pressure of uh, A to the power A, and pressure of B to the power B. So obviously the unit of Kp is what? Pressure is ATM, right? So can we write this as atmospheric to the power delta N? Based on delta N, we can have the unit of it, isn't it?
Okay. If you write down the expression of KP, sorry, KC is equals to what? Concentration C to the power C, concentration of D to the power D, concentration of, uh, you know, A to the power A, concentration of B to the power B. The unit of KC would be, it is mole per liter concentration if it is. So unit is molar or mole to the power delta. Or you can also write mole per liter to the power delta. Yes, correct. So its unit is, uh, it's dynamic, it's changing with the uh, reaction condition, right? Or the reaction stoichiometry coefficient. So let's finish this also characteristics and then we can have the numerical problems on this so write down the heading characteristics of of kc and kp kc and kp Write down equilibrium constant equilibrium constant. constant is independent of of initial concentration of reactant and product Equilibrium constant depends only on temperature only on temperature third one the expression of of KP and KC is applicable only when the equilibrium is achieved
if the reaction is reversed then the equilibrium constant constant also get reversed Okay. Suppose we have a, I'm assuming a hypothetical reaction. Okay. It will be easier for us to write. Suppose we have a reaction A gives B. P and Q is the stoichiometric coefficient. What is the expression for Kc for this reaction? concentration of b by concentration of a to the power q to the power p now if i reverse this reaction that is qb gives pa if i reverse this reaction kc dash it is equals to concentration of a to the power p concentration of b to the power q so if you look at the relation in this two, it is Kc is equals to one by Kc dash. This means what? If you reverse the reaction, equilibrium constant also gets reversed. Yes, can we conclude that? Simply you can do this. Achha. Now, the next one is, suppose we have two reaction. One is A gives B and other one is C gives D. It is K1 for this equilibrium constant and K2 for this equilibrium constant. If you add the two reaction, if you add the two reactions, so A plus C gives B plus D. So we need to find out the equilibrium constant of this reaction, the new reaction we have. That would be concentration of D into concentration of D A into concentration of C. If you find out this K1 here, K1 would be what? I'll write down here. Wait. K1 here, is it is concentration of D by A. What is K2? It is a concentration of D by C. So K1 into K2 is nothing but D by A into D by C, right? So we'll write Kc is equals to K1 into K2. So what is the conclusion for this? The conclusion is if you add the two reaction, then the equilibrium constant of the new reaction will be the product of the equilibrium constant of the individual reaction which is added. Yes.
Tell me, is it clear any doubt? Yes, so all these are property, you must uh, keep this in mind. Okay, directly you can use this. One last thing we have in this. Mm, suppose we have again two reaction A gives B and C gives D K1 K2 K1 is B by A and K2 is D by C okay and we are subtracting the two equation which means we have A minus C gives B minus D. So what is the equilibrium constant of this reaction? Could you tell me? K1 by K2. Yeah, that's right. So basically, you can see here what that this reaction means what you see this reaction means what we can also write this as A plus D gives B plus C, which can be formed when we add this and this reaction D gives C. So when you reverse this reaction, its equilibrium constant becomes 1 by 2 property we have seen and 1 and 2 if you add you'll get this right you'll get this so for this one kc would be what the product of equilibrium constant of this and this which is k1 into 1 by k2 so k1 by k2 so, so one line is what here the property once you add that once you subtract the two reaction its equilibrium constant will get divided Understood? No doubt? Fine. So we'll have a break now. And after the break, we'll start questions on this. Correct? Yeah. So we'll resume at 6.23. <laughs> 6.23. Okay, take a break.